My name is Rico Zolkanin and I'm from Wales. Um, my mother was born in Wales, I was born in Wales, but my father was born in Sumatra, Indonesia. When I first started playing football, I think I was around maybe six or seven years old. You know, as soon as I could kick a ball, I was playing. Um, up until my teenage years, I'd watch videos on YouTube of like Ronaldinho, um, Zinedine Zidane, and a lot of, at that time, during my life, I was watch, watching a lot of stuff from the guys in like um, Amsterdam, Holland. So a lot of street soccer stuff was coming out at that time. You know, they were performing some of the tricks that I've never ever seen. Okay, so while I'm from Wales, you know, it's, I'm not going to say it was tough, but it wasn't easy. So if you say Pilgrandy or Newport, people, you know, refer to this place as, oh, it's rough. So it's known as the second most deprived area in the whole of the country. But um, life was good, you know, some of the things that I've experienced there have shaped me into who I am today. So I'm kind of thankful that I was brought up in and around that place. When I was growing up, you know, life went difficult, but there's certain things that happened that, like I say, has had a lasting impression on who I am today. And I grew up around drug dealing, you know. I'm not gonna shy away from that. That's a part of where I am and where I live. So uh, my brother, my older brother, he's addicted to hard drugs. So he's basically, you know, there was times where I'd be in my home late at night, sat there with my mum and he'd storm through the doors at like 6 a.m., you know, doing what he's done. My mum's there crying, thinking, is he gonna come home? Um, so yeah, there's times where, you know, you'd be in bed and all of a sudden the door's getting kicked off. Uh, you're in the kitchen, you know, half naked in your pajamas and you've got handcuffs on. Um, but yeah, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm not ashamed of any of that because it's who I am and it's, what made me the strong person I am today. So um, I was playing socially uh, with the team, playing five a side, and we ended up winning the tournament in Cardiff. And then uh, my team got selected to play for Great Britain, to represent Great Britain at the um, European Street Cup in Denmark. And what I experienced here with all of those players, you know, we had a lasting impression on me. I was, and I met some professionals from Italy, Denmark, Germany, Poland. And I thought, you know, I'm just as good as these guys, if not better. So, cut a long story short, I went back to Wales and uh, I set myself the goal. I wanted to be in the professional Welsh international team within one year. And uh, I achieved that within three months. For me, mindset is everything. Um, you're gonna have this bad experience and it can make you or it can break you. So it's how you, how you take an experience and how you channel it, how you choose to channel it. You know, everything is a choice. Being happy is a choice. You know, you can be happy and you can be sad. The way you wake up every day is your choice. You know, so for me, like I say, take opportunities. Um, mindset, you know, the way you go about things. And one more thing, work on your mental strength. You know, so everybody's working on uh, training to score goals training to be super fit, you know, but mindset, if you don't have the right mind, you're not going to be able to do all of these things, you know, so work on your mindset, work on your mental strength, your mental endurance, it's a big part of life and it's a big part of sport. When people are playing video games, or when someone's watching this reality TV show, now I'm reading a book, you know, and it's not something that I'm just saying, this is the life that I live, you know, I'm reading this book, and there's certain things that I pick up from there and it inspires me to go on and change the way I eat. You know, so I'm reading this book called Eat Right For Your Type. And certain things in there just resonated with me and uh, changed my, changed the way I eat and it's all paying off. You know, so like I say, the way you eat, what you do with your time, how you train, what you do in that time, it all makes the big things possible. And I, I've recently come across a quote and it's like, you know, I always think, yeah, I've got to work harder. I've got to do this much. You know, but don't work harder, work smarter. You know, like I say, well, it's why you do your time that counts. Um, in five years' time, I see myself again playing at the highest level as possible. But for me, my biggest goal is to be in America.
You know, I think the way that these people market the sport and uh, the die-hard fans that are out there and just to see what they've done with MMA and basketball in such a short amount of time, I think, you know, what they're looking to do with futsal in 2017 is going to blow everybody's mind. So for me, I'd like to be there, well, I'm going to be there and uh, I'm going to be one of the superstars of the sports there, you know. And like I say, futsal for me is just a platform to get people to understand what I'm about outside of the sport and the message that I want to deliver outside of the sport, you know. It's way bigger than futsal. Why I'm playing and my reasons behind everything I do, you know, it's way bigger than futsal. I want it to be remembered and I want things to last long after I'm gone. And that's what I've managed to achieve within futsal, you know. I saw this lane that nobody had been in and I went for it and it paid off. So now I'm the first Welsh professional in history. I'm the first European to ever sign in Indonesia and win the league, you know. And like I said, I'm able to travel the world doing something I love. For me, seeing the world and experiencing life, that's something that I've always wanted to do. So to do that with something I love is something that I'll never take for granted, you know. For me, when I say that it's way bigger than futsal, you know, this is an avenue where it's a platform that the world are gonna be watching what I do. So for me, even in, in the past, I've had clothing brands, I've had um, street soccer companies, and like I say, even now, on my body, love live, my tattoo. You know, this is my message. I think life is about love, about living, about experiencing, you know. Experience is the greatest teacher for everybody. Everybody's reading this, reading that, go out and live. And this is what I want to do with my futsal, you know. Subliminally or subconsciously, the way I go about things, even my actions. So I say I like to live by quotes or whatever, but how I am, I think it's transferable. You know, you meet somebody and they do something that's, it has this lasting effect on you, it inspires you to do something else. You know, I think what I'm able to achieve in this field is and inspire other people to do great things within their lives. You know, so I, like I say, it's, futsal is just the carrot to get people in, but my message is way bigger than futsal. I was born to play this sport, you know, and uh, yeah, so that's how I got into futsal.